Hello, welcome to my video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a customized legend for Earth Engine data to the uh, GE map. In order to follow this tutorial, you need to install the GE map Python package. If you have not installed this before, you can follow my other tutorials on how to install the package. And after that, you can um, download the repo as a zip file and then unzip to your computer or you can use git to clone the repo. We are going to use the examples under the no, uh, examples notebooks and number 14 lessons. So all we need to do is to get this file, then we can get started. So in here, after you get the file, all we need to do is just to uh, open Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter. And then navigate to the example. Notebooks, number 14. And so first of all, you need to import the Earth Engine and the GE map package. And after that, um, you can take a look at some of the built-in uh, legends. Built-in means I already have loads uh, built-in for you, so you don't have to customize. For example, some of the common one, uh, the National Link Cover Database. So if you like, you can click the link here to look at the source code, some of the examples that uh, already have. So basically for each laser, you need a key and a color. So the key is what is going to show up each class and what the corresponding color and how many classes you, you have within a Python dictionary. And I provide the name and also the links here where you can look for those data. So most of the uh, Earth Engine Lane cover uh, database uh, data sets in here. You will see they are all semantic uh, data layers. That each color will represent one class. And if you click, for example, this one here, and if you scroll down, this is the so-called color, color uh, table. I'm going to show you how to use this later, but very uh, easy. This is the value. This is the description, and this is the color. So what we're trying to do is to add this one as a legend to the map. So let's go back to this example and you can take a look at some of these built-in ones. So this is basically the unique ID that you can use to add a laser to the map. So first of all, let's look at the National Land Cover Database for the United States. And we just create a map. We then we add a base map. Then we add the land cover data and add the land cover data to the map. And so this is the most important. We're trying to add a legend. And there's a parameter called built-in. And then you pass the name. So the name comes from here, NLCD. So let's take a look. All we need to do is just one. And there you have it. So if you if you want to visualize, you can maximize. You can zoom in. You can zoom out, right? And then you can use the inspector tool. If you click here, and you can just uh, click here. 82, right? Class 82 means what? Cultivated crops. And you can click any other location. So 41 will be the deciduous forest. Okay. So you can use this way to quickly add the laser to the map uh, if you want. So this is the built in one. And there's another one. This is the National Wetlands Inventory, similarly for the United States. So we add this one as a base map. And then you can use the built in uh, laser called NWI. And if you see from here, right, these are the classes. And if you zoom in, it might not show up uh, because this is a vector data set and it, sometimes it takes a long time to, to actually load the data. Uh, this, okay, you see it now. So this is, for example, lakes, um, rivers. You can, you can maximize, you can take a look, right? So this is a very nice data set for the entire United States. You can um, visualize the wetlands inventory just using Google's engine without having to download uh, any data set. But you need to zoom in to a certain level so they can see um, the data layers being loaded. Okay, it's a huge data set. So this is the second one. Next, I'm going to show you the other one, uh, Modis land cover data. This is for the entire globe. And it's very similar. Add the map, create the map, add the base map, and then at the lane cover data, 
Then we add the built-in uh, legend. So this is the name of the legend in here, right? So for the uh, entire image collection. So all we need to just execute. And now you have it. So you can zoom in, right? So you see you have all the classes in here. Uh, very nice. So the three examples that I just show you uh, is using the built-in because those are some of the common data sets that people um, use. And uh, so I just put uh, built-in them into the uh, the source code. In this way, you don't have to uh, do it by yourself. So you see here some of the examples, some are pretty long. Next, I'm going to show you how you can create a customized one. If you, if you, if you don't find the one in the built-in one, um, available for you. So there are three ways you can create a customized uh, legend. So first, you can either uh, create two lists. Okay, one is called legend keys, and the other one is the color. So basically, this is the name of each class. So you can maybe one, two, three, four, or water, urban, or something like that. So, and this two, the second one here is the color. So the color can either be hex code or it can be RGB. Okay, so you can do it this way. You don't have to put a pound sign, but you need a six digits. And this one represents the color. You can also do it like this way. Uh, it's also a list, but you put it within a tuple. So it will be RGB, right? Uh, 0 to 255. So it's up to you, what, uh, whatever you, you you prefer. Then you, once you have these two lists, you can uh, add the uh, pass into the, 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 these parameters. So uh, keys and colors. You can also change the position if you if you want. So in here, we just execute, and then we can take a look. So now you will see here this one on the left side here, bottom left, right? One, two, three, four, et cetera. So it comes from here, and the color maybe it's going to be on here. So this is the first way. You have two lists, but you can also, the second way, you can define a dictionary. So similar to what you see from inside the source code here. So this is the... Uh, uh, a curly brackets is a Python dictionary. So within a dictionary, you have a key, you have a value. So you can do it similarly in here. You can define a, a dictionary, and then all you need to do is just pass this one here as a dictionary. You can also change the name of the legend if you want. So, and very similar, we add the length cover data, and uh, let's take a look. Uh, looks like the title is not working, so I might need to go back and double check the source code. It might not be passed into the function correctly. Okay, so this is the second way you use a, a dictionary. And lastly, this, this is the, the also one that you can use if you um, happen to find, for example, let's see one page in here, right? So if you see this example, you, from all the Earth Engine link cover data or any other semantic of data layers, if you find anything that you want, for example, if you click this one, and then all you need to do is to scroll down to find so-called a class table. So this one shows you exactly what each class, what's the value of each class, what's the description, and what's the color. And all we need to do is just to simply select this one and just copy come back to here and then just paste this one in here but you make sure that you need a uh, triple quotes uh, not single quote or double quotes you need triple uh, in order to do multi-line uh, comments so you just paste this one here right and everything else is automatic so you add the data, uh, data whatever data you want then we use this function called laser from ee and then so if we're going to convert this one here class table into a dictionary and then you can pass the dictionary in here just like the second um, uh, the one above here show you and then you add the legend that's it so hit one now you have it so this is the entire all the uh the class you just copy from uh, earth engine as you can see, it's very flexible, so you can customize. Even for here, you can just change whatever. If it is too long, you you can you can delete it. Okay, um, you can customize in any way you want, but don't change those uh, in here because this is a, a tab, tab. So uh, it's being separated using the tab. So you can change the description, but don't change those um, before uh, the description. So you can delete anything you want, right? And then if you execute again. 
then the the new ones will be reflected uh, just like what we just did it okay so these are, are three ways you can customize or you can use the built-in um, if you find the built-in that's uh, useful otherwise if you want like some of the useful uh, built-in lenses, if you want to add more you can open a, uh, an issue on the on my repo and uh, i can certainly add that one to the built-in lenses uh, for you okay that's all for this video if you enjoy this video please consider hitting the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel hope to see you in my next video take care bye bye